Looks like they got new glitching effects. What the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? What's up, girl? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? What? Mel what the? LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever. Wow. Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. What's, dude, like, why am I Follow still me. here? Double time. This chaos okay. is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. We practiced in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Stay positive. What happened? Dude, what did, what did. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss Vinay, this is not a request. Who is this? You heard the man. Dude, Fine. who's this new guy we're talking your about? Skull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Damn. Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Otto Call Berg is other guy. I have to go check Her name is Violet, 10-4. All right, all right, all right. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! <laughs> Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants Bitch. to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Okay. What is this Helix shit? Oh. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. Whoa. That's what we'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Ew, dude. Why is, why is Otso Berg only in my right ear? That's kind of disgusting. So this is all very familiar, and they changed it so it's not... So it's not Abstergo, it's Helix. But it's still got the Abstergo logo. And I remember hacking this some bitch. So I'm probably the one who gave it this fucking virus. Signal? Great. That means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Dude, it's because I have an earpiece in my right ear. Ew, I don't like that. I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. I see. So you can select different rings. So each ring has to be, though the rings that go around the planets have to be lit. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. That's what I was just fucking saying, bro. A shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al Ta'ir ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al-Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. 
Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after hmm. Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will. That's that true, the actually. Truly escalated and spread across the planet. That is For true. I wonder. I wonder if yeah, 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 yeah. Mountain can see things from our point of view. Surely the same can be said for other assassins. Dude, for sure, man. Bergs. Uh, so that was Otso okay. Berg. So I'm not sure you're supposed to see that. Just, uh, you should just get back to your animus. Thanks, Violet. The back Repaired. Online, you restore your co workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Violet, I don't trust you either. Hey, I don't know what her game is. Dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. So that's what that is. This now is his communicator. memories. We stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I don't like all this talking in my I right you ear. Have questions about your new assignment or about me. For now, all I will say is that Shay's story contains the answers. Shay will lead you to a greater understanding. I don't trust where this shit's going, dude. Is anyone else gonna fucking talk to me? Alright, cool. I'm gonna hack this thing. I'm gonna grab this thing, I mean. Nice find. If it was me, I'd snoop to see if there's any juicy stuff on it. But I might be a terrible person. <laughs> so I have no clearance right now. So I might just have to go back to my, to my shit. To my animus. Unless I can hack these computers, which Violet did say I can do. She did say I could bring these computers back online. But this is mine. I almost went back into mine. What's up, bro? Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna go get this computer back online. Alright, I see what needs to happen here. This light needs to get fucking refracted, dude. And then this one can get rotated like so. Maybe not? Maybe this one needs to go. Just like that, I guess. I guess that's... Alright, so that's gonna take a little getting used to. That, that puzzle's a lot, like... Not so straightforward, I don't think. Hey boss, calling from Germany? While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. Ooh, I fucking dig it. The Phoenix Project, this is what this is called. The Ankh raises people from the dead. I might just summarize all this new info I'm learning instead. Oh shit, okay. So there you can't, this far computer, you can hack the, or you can take the tablet, I mean. I wonder if you can hack the a lot, a lot, a lot, yeah, hack, or I, sh I should say repair the receptionist's computer. All right, let's see if we can get understanding for this shit. So yellow refracts and blue is transparent. This is actually, I think, really useful, really useful knowledge here. Yeah, because then it could be solved in three fucking moves if you know that's useful. So thank you. Maybe this won't be so bad. Maybe, maybe this won't be so bad. Atham Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. Ooh. I have great Ooh. respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite. Charged with finding a precursor site. He fucking did, dude. Atham was cunning and ruthless. But he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Atham eventually learned that his father Edward had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. 
Really? I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Cause Connor's a fucking badass, bruh. That's what I think about Connor, dude. This is cool so far. Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed, Collection, Blacklist, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, some shit. And right over here, another tablet on the ground. Edward Kenway, Blackbeard, Adewale, Calico, Jack Rackham, and some random dude on the left. I wonder, I wonder if there's shit in the bathroom now. Oh, there you go. Another thing, in, because in Black Flag there was nothing in the bathroom. Dude, that's that shit from the fucking... May she guide us into the grave, beloved! So Juno's coming back for sure, right? Or maybe, uh, what's his name is? Nah, that, what, 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 John from IT? He ain't coming back anytime soon, probably. His body just, like, he just died. It would take probably another long-ass time before it, before Juno's husband, really, would be able to come back, I feel like. Go back in this room, right when you walk off the elevator, go to your right. It's that fucking room. Um, there you go. Tablet on the chair here. The computer's not hackable. I don't know how to say this politely, so don't take this personal. I think you're great, pretty much, but... Loriano Torres is the single most boring pitch that has come across my desk. Sorry, XOXO, Melanie LeMay. That's an excellent confidence boost there, Melanie. Green splits, yellow refracts. And I wonder if it's just going to show us those the whole time, dude. This is so much, yeah, this helps. Blue transparent, red or yellow refracts, red reflects? That's interesting. So I bet you there's gonna be some like reds in the middle. There's gonna be another red in the middle. There's gonna be like a red above it. It's gonna be, I bet you shit's gonna be fucking nuts. Ta-da! You don't even have to use that refract. Those are so. Uh, that's gonna take so long to get Following used to. The great purge of 2000, William Miles became the de facto leader of the assassins. A cunning and ruthless strategist, he trained several agents who infiltrated Abstergo, including Clay Kazmarek and Lucy Stillman. In late 2012, I captured William Miles in Cairo, and delivered him to Warren Vidic in Rome. Whoa! My son, Desmond, attacked Abstergo, killed Vidic and Master Templar Daniel Cross. He fled to a first civilization temple in New York. On December 21st, Desmond Miles was killed inside the precursor structure. The grieving William Miles went underground and left the Brotherhood in the hands of Gavin Banks. Banks led a small team across the globe, attempting to rebuild assassin cells. We have confirmed sightings in Kyoto, Moscow, and Paris. Miles resurfaced in late 2013, and we have confirmed his involvement in the infiltration of Abstergo Entertainment Montreal by the assassins Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane. Dude! Both Miles and Banks remain at large. Agent DaCosta has tasked the Akashic satellite Plexus to sweep the planet for traces of assassin activities. We have yet to locate them. So this dude is clearly a Templar. He knows what William... Uh, Miles, you know, Desmond's dad. He knows what Sean's doing. He knows what the fuck Rebecca's doing. He's aware of all the shit that Desmond has done. Dude, this dude, like, knows everything. This dude straight up knows fucking everything about everything already. And we can tell he's a Templar. From what I, from what I gather. Could be wrong. Could just be assuming, but somehow I doubt it. 
Oh, that one? No, I, I can't hack that one yet. Oh shit! Sure as shit I can fucking hack it. No way. See these two bean bags? Yeah, here yeah. Here's that. We can hack this one. Splitter. And there's five segments now. Ta-da! Just like that, and just like that. I don't know how else to explain it or show it. I'm just okay. gonna, yeah, I don't the know. The is in another animus session, and I have required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Jaeger. You never use a normal Animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man, on the Viking raid on Lindsay Farm. 793, northeastern coast of England. Sorry, history nerd. So, how was it? It was summer, good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies, and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. She keeps referring the numbskull as like, as like me. She's talking about me. And they're talking about just killing casually, just killing Sean Hastings. Dude, if I, me, like I, like me, like I, me, would have fucking dipped. Long time ago, bruh. Alright, honestly, that's pretty near fucking everything that I can check so far. Alright, we're off to a good start. I'll take it.